All right, this was a class beginning, a can't let me talk, <laughs> class number three, can't remember six or eight, and we started with a lock turn. We did a lock turn tonight, so I'll do it facing this way first. You're gonna rock step with your right foot back, you're gonna cross over, wind up to your right side, and then you're gonna unwind back to the front. Um, I told you a couple of things will happen when you unwind, you may end up with your feet like this. And if that happens, just as you unwind, kind of bring that foot over so you're side by side. I gave you a little cheat for it though. When you cross over, if you, if this is highly advanced, don't try this unless you are sure you are balanced and ready for it. You can switch to your right heel and your left toe and that'll put you straight if you wanna practice that at home. The other thing is that you can jump into this turn, rock, step, lock, turn, and we added a little down at the end on this count seven. So the counts are one, two, three, hold four, five, six, seven. Um, I'm reversing this right now, so I'm gonna turn around so you can see what it actually is. You're gonna just rock step on your right foot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, and that came right after you did rock, step, cross, rock, step, cross, rock, step, triple, rock, step, triple. And then last one, rock, step, cross, rock, step, cross, rock, step, lock, turn, and down. That was solo jazz. The whole routine is in your class recap folder um, on YouTube too, so you can find Jen doing that whole thing and beyond. Uh, then we added on some new movements tonight. Let's see, we reviewed the follow in front and the promenades. We reviewed these, we will do it from the side that we worked on last week, follow in front. And we talked about follows, dances, if you're gonna keep on going, because we'll also do the promenade where follows keep on walking. So refer to video two for details about that. Then we um, changed it and did the lead in front tonight. So we did one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven. We talked about how it feels a little bit like the um, follow is now doing the forward and back and leads kind of doing the flip-flop, but you want to just come right in front of your partner leads there. Um, let's see, a couple of things we talked about. One is leads, as you come right in front, boom, of your partner, you want to slide your hand to the side of your follow's back, follows, maybe we do the connection from here just so you can see, follows instead of reaching up here, Jen's just got her shoulder nice and relaxed right here. I'm not asking Jen to move very far forward. So follows, you wanna make sure you nestle in with that hand and don't rush your partner. So you wanna stay nice and back and connected with that hand. So if we're here again, one, or maybe let's look from the other side, sorry. A one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven. So Jen's staying back in that hand and that'll set us up nicely for the swing out that we're gonna do probably next week. Then we did a promenade from there. So one, two, lead in front. We walk, walk, and we brought our follow to the side. So leads, follows already have momentum down the line. You're literally just taking your arm and bringing it to your side to collect that momentum and guide your follow to the side. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight. We spent some time switching that up. So between leads going front and that promenade with the lead in front, we'll see how that felt. And then we put it in with our other patterns. Anything else to say to that? I think so. You guys did a great job tonight. Yeah. We will move on next week.